I've been waiting for you. Aigami, the main villain of this new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie titled The Dark Side Dimensions. When I saw Aigami in Trailer 1 on the official Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel, I instantly knew he was going to be a badass. But after watching DSOD three times, I can say that he lived up to my expectations. So hello everyone, it's BYG Agami back with another video, and today we're going to be discussing about Aigami's motivations in this film. Diva or Aigami, an orphan similar to Seto Kaiba, was searching for food every day in Egypt with his sister Sarah and his brother-like figure Manny. And Aigami's life changed for the better when Master Shadi Shin arrived in for the rescue. Aigami's first motivation was to find food. Then after that, it was to avenge Shadi's death that was basically to take out Bakora. Because there is a flashback in the movie where it shows Shadi, Aigami, and a few other Plana members. And Shadi talks about how when a Tim returns to the afterlife, the Plana will get these powers. And if a Tim does return, then they will lose their powers. So that's another one of Aigami's motivations throughout the film. It's where he wants to keep the Plana's powers. And that's by stopping Kaiba from reviving a Tim. But during the flashback scene... Bakora's father wants the Millennium Ring because if I recall correctly, he states that there's a treasure within it or something like that. And once Bakora's dad touches the ring, out come these skulls that basically kill Bakora's dad. And also note that Shadi stated that the ring calls to you that you cannot choose it. Later on in the scene, Bakora was chosen from the ring. We see Yami Bakora for the first time and he does a blast to Shadi which kills him and Aigami is taking over the Plana now as Shadi gives him the Quantum Cube or the Millennium Cube or whatever you want to call it because the English dub never gives a specific name on it. We know from the Japanese dub that it's called the Quantum Cube. But what's important is that Shadi states to Aigami earlier on that there will be a time where I will not be with you guys. In addition to that, he also states that at a young age, children aren't consumed by hate and fear. Aigami replies to Shadi stating that he doesn't feel fear around him. And Shin ends up dying, which we can say that Aigami is going with fear in the present day. Then it pans back to the present day where Aigami is going to kill Bokora, but Ryu states I lost someone that day as well. Which sort of stops Aigami from killing Bakora and then Mani comes because he was possessed by the ring earlier and Aigami can understand where Bakora is coming from because he's seen from first hand that Mani is possessed by the Millennium Ring. Because earlier on Bakora states it wasn't me, Manny brings Aigami into a different dimension and before that happens Aigami teleports Bakora out of this into a new dimension which shows that Diva does understand so him killing Bakora is off the list because he honestly could have killed him after his loss to you or even before that and just lied to Yugi about him during that tournament that Kaiba held. The other motivation for Aigami is that he wants to create a beautiful world which actually isn't beautiful at all is that Aigami is confused. Yugi states it straight up to him during his duel which I like and the final motivation for Aigami was to keep his piece of the puzzle during their duel but the key motives are to avenge Shadi's death, get rid of Kaiba and Bakora and make a better world, and in addition to that, to keep the Plana's powers. So this is Aigami's motivations explained. Leave a like, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Also, my friend Dimzy and I created a Facebook and Twitter fan page regarding the sixth Yu-Gi-Oh! series, where we will be posting news, reviews, links, etc. about this series. Just check it out in the description, as well as the comment sections down below. Thank you guys, and have a great day.